Salute Tribe, it's Chi. Today I'm gonna show you the difference between our child's pose and the frog pose, okay? Both are great hip openers for people who want to just open up their hips, the groin area, that lower back area, that is two different intensities, but you know, you can do them both. You just have to kind of ease into it. And I'm just gonna show you how, all right? So we're just gonna take it down to the floor. For the child's pose, I'm gonna have you guys to just sit your hips back for me and we're just gonna drop down. You wanna come onto your knees just a little bit more as opposed to when you're in the frog pose. And you just want to extend your arms out from your shoulders here as you press your chest down, okay? Think of leaning with your chest as you extend your arms out, pushing your palms into the floor, flattening your back, and then you wanna push your glutes back, all right? And you just want to try to inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth, at least five full breaths here. And now we're just going to push back into our frog pose, which is a little, which is like the child's pose, but it's a deeper stretch. All right, so we're going to separate the knees even more. And we want to try to have the glutes and the knees on the same line here. All right, bringing the heels together or the feet together as close as you can. From this position, you can rock back and forth. You can hold it here on your elbows. You can even, even drop down to your chest. You can fully extend those arms out and just really try to push your glutes back towards your heels. You can bring your hands underneath your shoulders and push up this way. I like it here because it really puts the pressure. You really feel that stretch on the inside of the legs which is what we're trying to do. We're really trying to open up the hips, open up that groin, going for deepening that middle split, or just to have more mobility and flexibility in our daily activities, okay? And then, so you also wanna hold this for at least five full breaths. And again, you can rock back and forth, you can bring it to your elbows, you can drop down to your chest, but you really wanna make sure that you're pushing your glutes back and you're resting your weight on the inside of your knees for the frog pose. And then for the child's pose, you're gonna bring it in just a little bit more. And you're just gonna sit back here, okay? Kind of on your legs, sitting the glutes back, pushing the chest down, and fully extending those arms out.